not-so-grand design? The frame flex controversy. That's what we're talking about today. Welcome, everyone, to the RV Travel YouTube channel. We're under new management, and that new manager is me. I'm your host, Keith Ward, and I am thrilled to be with you. So uh, this is kind of a soft relaunch of the channel, and I wanted to spend a couple of minutes covering what we hope to do with the channel going forward. For uh, the big picture, what we want is for this to be your community on YouTube in the same way that rvtravel.com serves you on the web. So this means we're going to have a wide range of content on the channel, including news, features, reviews, interviews, just a ton of great stuff. The other thing is that we're going to be publishing new content regularly from now on. That's going to be uh, on a weekly basis, and usually it's going to be um, several times weekly. Now, I can't promise at this point that it's going to be a specific publishing day, but there is going to be regular content coming out uh, on this channel from now on. Okay, next up, we're going to be involving you in a big way on this channel. I can't give details right now. Stay tuned for more on that. But suffice it to say, we're going to be soliciting your feedback in a number of areas and giving you the opportunity to be part of this channel. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because we are going to be doing some awesome stuff with this channel going forward. All right, now with that, let's move on to the big story of the month, the thing everybody is talking about, the Grand Design Frame Flex Issue. No, not that Frame Flex. I'm talking about the multiple reports that we're seeing all over the place of frames of grand design fifth wheel style trailers that are failing under load. It's been covered uh, all over the RV industry, including right here on YouTube. So just search uh, RV Frame Flex on YouTube and you will see a ton of videos popping up covering this. Okay, so a little bit of context here. I was at an RV show over the weekend, and there I had a conversation with a grand design employee. Now, I'm not going to name the show or the employee uh, because that's just not something I want to get into here. What's important is what we talked about. I asked him all about this uh, frame flex issue and wanted to see what grand design is doing, what, uh, how they're investigating and everything, what the plan is going forward. His responses surprised me, to be honest. He didn't seem, for instance, super informed about the situation or what Grand Design is doing about it. He mostly blamed the issue on a disgruntled YouTuber and said that's what led to the negative coverage. It kind of grew out of that. But mainly it was this one person or one couple, I should say. I won't name the couple, but I have a pretty good idea of who it might have been. And you do, too, if you have followed this issue at all. So he kind of said that that's really what it was. And it seemed like he was trying to deflect the blame onto this disgruntled, quote unquote, YouTuber. So from my perspective, now this is just not good strategy by the company. In my opinion, Grand Design needs to take ownership of the problem immediately. They need to find out what happened and they need to take fast action to deal with it. Now, of course, I am sure that Grand Design is doing exactly that. I'm sure they're investigating the issue. They're probably all over it. They probably have many people looking into it and trying to pinpoint where the fault lies, which is a good thing, of course. But what Grand Design should not do is blame other people for the problem. They shouldn't get defensive or, or act like the problem is overblown. Now, that is bad PR strategy. Grand Design needs to be straight with the buying public and reassure them that this will get resolved and will never happen again. One thing I've learned in my 30 plus years in journalism is that transparency is always the best option. Secrecy, deflecting, blaming others, but secrecy especially is always the worst option. Anyone remember Watergate? 
Okay. Now, I'm not saying that this is comparable to Watergate. Of course, it's not. My comparison is just to the fact that the big problem is often when you ignore it, when you try to hide it, when you aren't forthright about what is going on. It always leads to the worst outcomes. So if Grand Design is considering not being as transparent as possible, if they want to be opaque and not let the public know what's happening at every stage of the process, then I think it's going to work out in a very bad way. Uh, And this has to do with my discussion with that employee. Grand Design should be in alignment with their employees. They should have the same kind of messaging. When we talk to a Grand Design employee at a show or wherever, they should know what to say. They should be forthright, as the company should be, and they should not leave you wondering, what is Grand Design's plan going forward? What are they going to do about this? Those are the main takeaways from that discussion that I had with that employee. In my opinion, again, uh, this is more of of an op-ed, if you will. This is a dangerous time for Grand Design. Now, they've had a good reputation for many years in the RV community. I think that's fair to say. But they risk destroying that goodwill and solid reputation that took a long time to develop. And if they're not careful, that reputation could be gone in an instant. I've seen it happen many times before. Now, the RV industry already suffers from enough bad press about the poor quality of much of the product that gets produced. This is something also, if you've been in the industry, if you've been reading about it, if you've been in RV or for any amount of time, this is not breaking news either. You know this. We all know this. Whether the RV industry talks about it or not, we know what's going on. And this frame flex issue is another reason for people to be skeptical about the industry. And that's not something that helps anyone. So bottom line here, folks, Grand Design needs to act fast, decisively, and openly about this problem. If not, they risk everything. Think about it this way. Would you buy a Grand Design RV right now? I know what my answer would be. And remember to check out the RV Travel website at rvtravel.com and sign up for their newsletters. Also, check out their many Facebook communities. You are sure to find one or more that scratches your RV itch. I'm Keith Ward, and that's all for now. I'll see you next time.